for decades, the only thing I heard inside my helmet was the sound of an engine. But Jeremy, that's changing these days with technology. Definitely is, Phil. With Bluetooth technology nowadays, you basically have the ability to pair te your telephone to one of these communication devices and allows you to play music in your helmet while you're riding. But there is other features as well and benefits, and, and that's communication, rider-to-rider uh, -rider communication, rider to your de mobile device, and it allows all kinds of uh, new freedoms that we didn't necessarily see just a few years ago. That's interesting because nowadays we're so used to hearing things and also being tuned in where a person may want to ride for a few days, but some reasons they still have to stay in touch with the office. So you could be out riding, still get messages from the office or talk to the person who's three slides ahead of you and let them know you've got a problem with your fuel, listen to music. This is, this is pretty neat. It's incredible technology. It, it really is. And, you know, with the Euclear uh, device that we have here in front of us, uh, you have the ability to pair two units together, but you also have the ability to pair multiple units. And that allows a group with a, a leader and, a, and the person at the end on the tail being able to leapfrog from one unit to the other, you know, to, to communicate front to back of the group to make sure everybody's there. How easy is this to install? Quite easy to install. Um, what we can do is do a little bit of a demonstration here and show you how, uh, how straightforward it is. So with this particular helmet, what you would do is you've got uh, these speakers which also contain the microphones. And essentially what that does is it mounts up in your helmet and it allows for cross triangulation of the sound and picks up your voice. So it's a boomless mic system. You basically, it comes with Velcro and you would set it up inside your helmet, um, essentially in where your ears typically are. And as simple as a few seconds and you've got that in, you take your wire and tuck your wire down underneath the edge of your helmet and all you're left with is essentially the plug-in. At that point, what you do is you take your unit install this clip which can be either adhered to the helmet or a, a removable clip so essentially you slide this onto the easy mount affix it plug in your wire and you're ready to go now pairing it is very straightforward as well it's a matter of taking the two units and following the instruction booklet and in a few minutes you've got them either paired to your mobile device or paired to each other and I used this last year and it's actually quite simple. It's a simple one touch up and down. There's no, you don't have to look at a menu here. You just simply touch buttons and you've got it. You got it. It's a three button system. Uh, no complicated, you know, um, programming. It essentially um, follows through a very simple process to get it paired. So a few things that you need to know about your system is basically uh, charging. Charging is as simple as plugging your, into a standard wall, plug in with the USB and plugging the unit in to charge overnight. Essentially, uh, range on these units, you can pair two units together and you're looking at about 500 meters. On the HBC 100, on the HBC 200, what you're looking at is approximately 700 meters between each unit paired together. And again, what are the benefits of the system? How can, you, how can we use this on the trail? Well, you can use it in essentially three different ways. You can use it for entertainment, you can use it for communication, to the outside world through a mobile device, or you can use it rider to rider communication. So entertainment, efficiency, and friendship all on the trail.